Hey, my name is David Tomlinson. I'm one of the finance managers at Steve Landers Toyota here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, we're just going to uh, go over a couple of common questions that a lot of customers have uh, when they come into the finance office. And hopefully this will help you out in your future purchases. You know, uh, buying and leasing is very similar. You know, a lot of customers are confused or concerned when, the, when someone talks to them about a lease. Um, the only difference between really a lease or a balloon and a conventional loan is basically the term of obligation, okay? So if, uh, let's say I wanted to do a balloon, which is probably the more common thing that we do at our dealership, uh, the person comes in, let's say they average, average 15,000 miles per year driving habits, and we would probably set that up on a balloon because you can do a 15,000 mile per year balloon or you can do a 12,000 mile per, per year balloon. And uh, what that does is at the end of three years, you have several options. Well, on a conventional loan, if you finance a vehicle for 72 months, at the end of three years, the lending institution still owns that vehicle and you still have that debt. So all you can really do on a conventional loan at the end of three years is you can trade that vehicle in and hope that you don't have any negative equity or you can continue to pay on it until the vehicle is completely paid off. On a balloon, at the end of the balloon, you have three options. You can turn the vehicle in and pay a small fee and let them have the vehicle back and do another balloon for another vehicle, or you can trade it in, and if you happen to have equity, you can apply that equity toward the purchase of the vehicle, or you can purchase the remaining residual value of that vehicle, and what that does is You've already paid taxes on that balloon, so you wouldn't have any additional taxes. All you'd be doing is refinancing the remaining balance of the residual of the vehicle. So there's a lot of benefits to doing a short-term short -term balloon, uh, but it's just a matter of your individual preference. Now, if you're going to keep the vehicle for seven or eight years, I have customers come in and keep vehicles for up to 10 years, then I would do probably a conventional loan and then you know keep the vehicle as long as you're going to keep it until the wheels fall off.